What's up, what's up, what's up guys? Hope you guys are having a beautiful day. This is actually like an impromptu video. Somebody asked me on how to take a cap circumference measurement. Unfortunately, I'm not putting on the cap right now. So I'm just going to like show you guys the basic fundamental way of actually taking a cap circumference measurement. It's just a short video. I'm not going to take your time. So that whenever you measure your client's edge, you're going to always have an accurate measurement. So just pay attention to the instruction that I'm going to give you. The most important thing is that you actually take all the parts of the edge that look longer or taller than the other parts. I don't know how to do that. You know there are some people that have like this part of their <laughs> I don't know. There are some people that have this part of their edge that, that is like longer uh, and some people have this front part of their edge that's like longer. So the major important thing is that you focus on that longer part because the cap has, have, have to like rest on top of that longer part right that's the most important part so all the way from this part of your head you're going to take your put your tape on top of that particular place that is longer you can see all the way to this place you are going to take your cap all round to exactly the place in which it's going to end so make sure you place your cap exactly you, you, you place your tape, sorry, exactly how you want your cap to be on the edge of the client in order to get the side open. So if I open this up, I think my edge, oh, you see, my edge is like 22 and a quarter. It's like 22 and a quarter. Let me measure that again. All the way from here. And I'm going to go like this. You can see that. Like this. Like this, and you're going to end it at that place in which the metal stop. You can see I have 22 and a quarter of an inch. So that is my edge circumference. So if you're taking your client's edge circumference, that's the easiest way to take the edge circumference. And if you're taking your edge circumference yourself, you can do that yourself. That's also the easiest way to take your edge circumference. So that's a very, very simple video just to keep you guys updated. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are yet to subscribe to the channel. If you want to further your learning on how to become a better designer, you want to learn from the professional, the link will be under this video or the phone number that you're seeing on the screen right now. You can just call me. I have a fashion school. I have an accommodation in my office at Lekki Aja. No, not Lekki. Subtract so Lekki. Lekki used to scare people. <laughs> it's like a billionaire lives in Lekki. Okay, I stay in Aja. My office, my, my workshop is at Aja. There is accommodation where you're going to stay if you're coming from a far distance, or if you stay around Aja uh, or you have somebody you can support with, that uh, you can come every day and go back. You can call the number on the screen. I'll give you the details, the info of how to enroll and all about that. So if you're interested, you don't hesitate to call the number. That's about it for this video. I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed the video and somehow, some way, the video actually add value to your learning. So that's about it. I'll see you on my next video. You have a lovely rest of the day. And to the end, salute. Bye-bye.